Welcome back. Real Spit Radio. I'm your host, Kate Mac Knockville. It's your girl, Tammy Too Much. Yo, man, y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Evie Neiman, in the building, man. We got Finesse the Best, the LMC in the building with us tonight. Yeah, What's we just up? got finished watching that Let's Make a Deal footage, and she was filling us in. So I said, let's wait until we get back on the air, because mm. other people might want to know how right. exactly that went down. So let us know how that went down, you getting on Let's Make a Deal. Okay, While so you I, were visiting your daddy, I was okay. watching you. Well, I wasn't visiting my dad. My dad just took me on a vacation. Oh, so okay. we was out there. It was a good time. It's my first time I've been on a vacation. Did something with my dad. People from the village know Fred. Shout out to the daddy Fred. You know what mm. I mean? So we went out there. We was chilling on Hollywood Boulevard, you know, shopping, doing some good things. People out there passing tickets. Like, you want to get on Let's Make a Deal? I'm like, cool. No, first they said, you want to go to the field. We like, hell no. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, you want to get on Let's Make a Deal? Cool, we'll do that. one. So, of course, in my mind, I'm like, all right, if I'm going to get on Let's Make Deal. This Wayne Brady, he can freestyle. He real like an improv type of dude. All right, I'm gonna get picked on this motherfucker. And all, my whole goal is just the rap. That was my whole goal. I wasn't trying to win. I just wanted to rap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they take the auditions as a group, and then they ask everybody to introduce themselves. So that's just the way you gotta sell yourself. So the producer told me it's all about being hype and being active and just being energetic. You know, I got that naturally. So like, just be yourself. You feel me? So I tell him I am. I hear my vacation. Blah blah blah. I get out there, they sit us in a room, and then they take us to the studios. They tell everybody, it don't matter. Even if you were picked from an audition, you can easily lose your spot if you dull down. So say if I got picked and I'm just chilling in the cut like, mm, oh, yeah, some, they're going to pick somebody else. You feel mm. me? Like, so I'm just keeping keep hype. Even when we get in the studio, do commercials, I'm staying hype. They playing Humpty Dump, all type of old school stuff. I'm getting the crowd hype, telling them how to do the stuff. We having a good time. So as you can see, I was like the third contestant. So it was like, oh, we think they're going to pick you. You feel me? So I don't know if y'all know. My dad thought they was gonna pick him too, so they was like, You, girl in the blue hat. So he like, Oh, what's up? <laughs> Go back and watch it. My mom in the background, like this, like, <laughs> So they put me up there, whatever, and you know, I did the challenge. But another thing I know, they, they do pre pick the people for the prizes, you feel me? Like, so that's why he'd be like, I need a couple, or I need a group, or I need this. Like, they could pick my dad to win some damn Manolo Blanco shit. He was like, he wouldn't have want that shit. Mm -hmm. But even if you get zonked, you still have to show, like, you're excited. So when y'all see me over there, bitch, like, ah, 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 that was just me being extra because I was on TV and I had to, like, really show that I really liked it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But the kicker was the, all the producers after, they was like, is this your first time being on national TV? I'm like, yes, it is. Not my first time performing, but it's definitely my first time being on national TV. And they was like, you did an awesome fucking job. Like, you need to really come back and give you a job. Do you live here? And then that's when the girls told me, she was like, yo, you the music, you know, work on that jingle and come back. And I got you. I guarantee you, I can put you back on the show. There we go. So that's the goal. Oh. Yeah, you know I me. Mean? Shouts out to Wayne Betty. Yeah, so that's, that's what's, what's up. Goal. That's what's up. So you said you had to pay taxes on the shoot. Damn. Yeah, like none of these break, none work? of these game shows are free. Like come on, nothing in life is free. So how it works is that whatever you win on these game shows, that you do have to pay the taxes. So like the higher, bigger prize you win, the more you have to pay. So them people winning cars, believe me, they gotta pay a grip to get it. It's not really worth it. You might as well just not even do it. Now, some prizes you can cash in, depending if the people who do the vending and like the sponsoring, whether they'll allow you to cash in. I couldn't cash in the Monona Block shoes because they're like, hell no, we put this for the show. Either the person will pay for it or not. So I only gotta pay like two something for the shoes, whatever, which is still worth it because. Is that 200 and Yeah, something? 200 something versus okay. 4100 worth of shoes, you know. Right. Them flats is the highest. They like 995. No ugly thing. I don't want them, but I will get them because I might sell them at my next show. Who knows? You feel yeah. me? Like, but yeah, it was, it was definitely a lifetime of experience, and I'm not trying to let go of this opportunity. And, you know, like, whatever I try to do with it, whatever happens, you know what I mean? Just hope the city will find me once I do it. That's All what's right. up. So, that's what's up. So, we great really had some fun. In store Here for we us go. tonight. We great really had some fun. Should All we right. be nervous? No, you should be nervous. We gonna have some fun. Mm -hmm. Diamond. I'm gonna just tell you right now, at some point you're gonna run to grab the mic, so you might wanna get it now. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna play a game. Okay. I'm gonna name four people, places, things, situations, and one of them has to go. All right. That sounds easy. We're going to start it off with R&B groups. Okay. One of these groups have to go. And when they go, all of their music and their contributions to the industry go with them. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Just kicking now, them on out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here go, here, go, here, go the, here go the four. Boys to Men, Drew Hill, 112, 
and Jagged Edge. Jagged Edge. Damn. Y'all just hold like the shit out of Jagged, Jagged Edge. Edge. Shit Jagged Edge. Out. Oh, oh, I'm not going to say Drew Hill. That's homegrown. You definitely, definitely, not home grown. Grown. You definitely you can't say Drew Hill. Who is the man? Don't call me when y'all ready to get married. Exactly. Because everybody went and that you playing the jagged ass joint. Not to discredit what you said. It's going to be playing at mine. Exactly. <laughs> so we know Tammy not getting rid of jagged ass so, so that's two for jagged ass. Tam. What? Which one you getting rid of? I don't want to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Which one you getting rid of, Tam? I'm getting rid of. What was it? One Drew Hill. Drew boys Hill. the man. 112 and jagged ass. Jagged ass yeah, got yeah. to go. Sorry, because mm -hmm. yeah. I love one. Uh, I mean, I right. Love I love boys and men. I love boys and men. It wouldn't be some men. of them groups if it wasn't for boys and men. So you definitely can't. Exactly. You, got, you can't, can't take the G's out. The G's and out. then we, is, come on now, Drew Hill is homegrown. Like, that's, really? You, you think we're going you, to be this okay. like that? I'm just going to look past them. Right. That's, that's us. Right. So Sorry, Jagged Edge. Sorry, Jagged. We love you. Jagged got to go. It was just funny how everybody just first just Jagged Edge. It was like, damn. That's Don't worry. It's going to get tough as we go along. Right. <laughs> Here go the next one. Jay-Z, Tupac, Biggie Smalls, Nas. Jay-Z? Nas. 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 Like, Nas. No, y'all ain't going to send him my nigga Nas. Nas, Nas. 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 Nas got to go. Nas. 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 Damn it! I'm sorry to say, Nas got to go. Nas got to go. Nas got to go. His but impact on the hip hop. Industry. When I get that, when you name them, yes, but fuck that, I wouldn't be finessing for one. No, so I'm not gonna ride with them. No, I mean that's right. a moment, so I'm gonna have to sit down on that one. Fuck it. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, here go the next one. Kanye West, J Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Drake. Kanye. Drake. <laughs> what? You said Drake. I say Drake. What? I gotta whip about Drake. <laughs> <laughs> I he said, she said your cousin, Diamond. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> Sorry. She don't mean it. She <laughs> don't. I did. Hell no. I'm going to say Kanye West. I don't know. Kanye West. Listen, because if you get rid of Kanye West, you got to get, West, you gotta like get rid of all his production for you every... Right. You right. Kendrick has got to go. Gone. Kendrick is gone. No. He is out of there. Hell no. No. I can't get out of Hell no. No, I would have Kendrick ass hell gotta no, go. J. Cole, J. Cole, J. Cole do production too. Cole, no. No. Yeah, I would have said Drake. Kendrick hell ass no. gotta I go. Hell if, no. I feel like. Yeah. I like Cole better. I like, better. Better than I like, I like all of them. I like Kendrick better. better. Kendrick ass I just gotta like go. Even if it never they came impact. out as the game still. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. He, he definitely no, it wasn't. Like impact on certain oh, things, but I feel like if those, those three artists would have still been out, it would have still been dope. Like, I could have went without Drake. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. You know, you know Kendrick's biggest... I'm just biggest, saying, like, what the you know fuck his did Drake do? Just hey, make niggas fucking sing rap? What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck he changed the game. Niggas? I mean, he changed yeah. the game. Yeah, I mean, when I say... Like, that, but you just said what he did. Like, I, 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 I mean, yes, I'm just saying. Did that really do a... Great big hip hop for the culture of hip hop. No, it just make these new motherfucking rappers do something different, which is cool. I'm not taking that away from me. Yeah, he is a you keep a entrepreneur of what he did. She I, mean, I, I, I am kind of contradicting him a little bit, but at the end of the day, I could have went the fuck without Drake. That's all. Like if 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 we took Kendrick away, like we could still listen to the rap. Still be the same. We can still we still be the same. But Drake and Kanye changed the game. But it's just the parts that Drake put on the game. It just sound like a low key hater. Been without. But if I had to pick which one, he would have been Kanye on Disney. He'd have been alright. But like, yeah, he would have been Kanye without. I don't like him. I just don't like him. But you got to get rid of everything. You got to get rid of everything. Fuck it. Fuck it. All right, what's next? Uh, it's gonna be hip hop. It's gonna get, get, <laughs> get real hip hop. It's gonna get real hip hop. It's gonna get real crucial in here with this one. One of these gotta go. Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Prince, and Beyonce. Beyonce, Beyonce. No, the other three already gone. <laughs> they are. All three of them already they gone. They already That's gone. They already gone. Yeah, you you're right. Well, Trey, one of them, Beyonce can go. Oh, yeah, that's I, terrible, yeah. Um, After she had a twin. Yeah, 
but they 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 their music, their legacy. Come on, yo. Yeah. Away every Michael I Jackson. I'm gonna be on Michael Jackson. None of us probably be here. Michael Jackson. Before Michael Jackson. Hold up, nobody probably. Nigga, I had the jacket with the seventy-two zippers on the motherfucker. Okay. Hell no. Did you have an Elvis Presley jacket? You had a, had a Barry Manilow album, I bet you. You had a lot of Richie jackets. <laughs> you also had a lot of Richie. <laughs> That's terrible, <laughs> y'all. All right. And Prince definitely we race, not. We can race it. Everybody got it. It was Beyonce. It was <laughs> yeah, she got to go. Huh? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Beyonce, <laughs> you young ass. Beyonce is, is gone. gone. So listen. This is not a person. This is an album. Where the Baltimore one at? Right. I thought that I was waiting for you to throw one of them in there. Because I knew I'm thinking of him. I'm like, he's going to throw some Baltimore <laughs> artists. <laughs> Diamond King always wants to spoil the fun. Because Diamond, let's he's like controversy. To I told y'all Diamond will get hit by a bus for story. <laughs> I told you that shit. Listen. <laughs> Stir so, shit. He love that. One of these hip-hop albums have to go. What? 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die Trying, Kanye West's College Dropout, Outkast's Double CD Stank On You and The Love Below, and Jay-Z's The Blueprint 2. Stank On It. Stank On It. Even though I love Outkast. I like it. I love yeah, it. I could just get a I like Outkast. The, like the first one. The first album with Get Up, Get Out, Get Something. Yeah, that, that was hot. So yeah. I, I, I hear all you all statements. But Jay Z's Blueprint Two can go. I'm what? Sorry. You said Blueprint Two? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. The Blueprint oh, Two can go. Said, you just no, said the Blueprint. No, no, Y'all just started blueprint. talking over top, Bobby. Y'all started talking. He didn't talk. say two though. I did. I, I, said, I said, but y'all just two. immediately, as soon as I said the Outkast one, I'm like, oh, they got to go. Y'all immediately just jumped on. Well, we'll see if you okay. say oh, two when we run oh, it back. Y'all can run it back. But oh, it's gonna get a little bit harder. Albums again. Tupac's All Eyes On Me. Raekwon's Only Built for Cuban Links. <laughs> Big Pun's Capital Punishment. And Big L's Lifestyles of the Poor and Dangerous. Big L. Wow. <laughs> no, I can't. But damn, I love Big L, though, yo. I love Big L. I did yo. hear the Big Pun one, and I didn't. I wasn't. Yeah, okay. yeah Big L shit was dope. All right, a little bit tougher. What do TV shows now? One of these TV shows gotta go. The Cosby Show, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Martin, A Different World. Different, different world. A different world. world. Hell no. no. no fresh wait, 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 Prince. Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. Yeah, fresh Prince. Yeah, fresh Prince. Yeah, 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 um, because it would be a Fresh Prince so I, I like if fresh it wasn't prince. a different world. Let me think, yeah, because I like a different world. When they started putting it on running view, I started like, <laughs> yeah, different. Yeah, yeah Dwayne. That's because diff different world there. was more like positive, like right. educational mm -hmm. shit. First and it made you want to like go to college yeah, and shit. Like, yeah, I want to go to college. Yeah, yeah. I could be like them. I and definitely stuff like did that. have dreams of going to Hillman. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was going to Hillman. Going to Hillman. Going to Hillman. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, we got some movies, folks. Friday, <laughs> Boys in the Hood. Which Friday? First Which one. Friday? Friday, okay. Boys in the Hood. Soul food, love and basketball. Soul, Soul food. food. <laughs> oh. Soul food was a good movie, but with love and basketball Soul was just like. And love and basketball. Oh, that's yeah. so that is disrespectful. Love, love and basketball is a classic. Love and basketball yes. is a classic, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love you sound like you was hurt. Classic. Yeah. Like you took a girl to the movies to see that, and she broke up with yeah. you. And that's the reason why you don't like that movie or something. I love love and basketball. It's some memorabilia you got with that now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was, listen, I still, I still get a little choked up when that happens yeah, on a movie. That, I still get a little, yes, man. That, that yeah. bed is touching, man. And you need to get your life together. Exactly. Yeah. And it really Diamond. pisses me when she go to his college dorm room and he got that other chick in there. Yeah. Fucking Tyra Banks, little long neck ass. 
<laughs> that was that was, was like, like, nah, get your life together. <laughs> he talking about that was my part. This movie was on, and I wouldn't go off because I was like, I would go to sleep. It's still on. I hate that movie. So listen. What? I told you he had some memorabilia with that damn movie. I'm, I, I got a trip. I don't like soul food. I don't like loving basketball. I don't like uh, all those movies like that. I don't like that. So you don't like the African American chick no, flicks? No, I don't like that. Yes, yes, exactly. The African Poetic American chick flicks. <laughs> Diamond don't like date right. movies. No, I don't. <laughs> What's next? All right. all right, the next one. Is this the last one? Mm-hmm. Disrespectful. Yeah. Okay. Is this the Baltimore one? No, it actually is not the last one. Second to last one. It's not a Baltimore one. Because I don't feel like getting into a whole debate tonight. <laughs> one of these albums got to go. We say? Capone and Noriega's The War Report. That one. <laughs> Only Built for Cuban Links by Raekwon. Ghostface Killers, Iron Man. And Mob Deep's The Infamous. The first, the first one. one. The first one, definitely. Cap- the war report was the shit. Uh, it was cool, but it, it wasn't was like them, right. brothers. I they classics, bro. I could have done without the ghost face one. What? Uh-uh. The Iron Man, you crazy? No, I could have done without the Iron Man one. I like the war report. Day, tripping, yo. Every day. Right. Yo. All right. Like Wu-Tang. So here goes my final, my final one. <sighs> you got to get rid of one of these New York artists. New York artists. DMX, Biggie Smalls, Jada Kiss, Fabulous. Fabulous by Fabulous. Hell no. No, who you say? I didn't even hear F-A-B-O-L-O. Jada Kiss, Fabulous, DMX, and Biggie. Fabulous. Fabulous got to go. Damn, that's fucked up. DMX, Biggie Smalls, Jada Kiss, and Fabulous. Fabulous. Yes, who, I who didn't make a list. <laughs> I just got four pictures of all this, and I asked you to take one away. You got to take one of them away, Diamond K. That's the whole purpose. You can't pick no whack person and then be like, Diamond, I feel like I feel like Diamond took a girl. I feel like Diamond K took a girl to go see Love and Basketball. She was like, I'll be right back. I'm going to the bathroom. And she never came back in the movie theater. Like, I feel like... Or, like, she was like, I'm about to go get some nachos or something. He walked out to And Diamond K walked out there to see what was taking her so long. And she was out there talking to another dude. <laughs> Something happened with Love and Basketball that got Diamond so upset. Right. Okay. Why you cut nachos all cold? Wow. All right. <laughs> she came back and nachos was cold. Did somebody shit. hit you in the head with a basketball when you were young? What the happened? cheese all got all stuck to Did the I chips. Did I make the basketball team? What happened? <laughs> A basketball player stole Diamond Girl. That's what it was. A basketball player stole Diamond's first love. And it, or maybe he was in love with a basketball. I bet you did. A girl that played basketball. Yeah, they had yeah. all the girls in school. Well, so, Vanessa, I want to thank you for coming on Real Spit Radio. Thank you. You're I always welcome. You know that. Make all sure right. you give everybody your contact information. If they don't have it, they should. But give it to mm-hmm. them anyway. Already, right, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of that. That's Finesta LMC. You can definitely check me out. Check out my artist page, Finesta Best of LMC. And look out for my video coming out. And I'm still going to do a lot of promo. And I hope y'all come to uh, my next video shoot. And I definitely got to hop on y'all shows that y'all be doing the first of the month. As yeah, you know, definitely come I through. I always Bless wake it, up yeah. like, oh, man, it was the day. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all know I work nights. So I wake up and I'll be like, what day is it? And I'm like, oh, well, my Well, actually, June is my month. Okay. Because, you know, within the camp, everybody take over a month and produce their, okay. their show. So June is my month. That's my birthday month. So that's going to be a ladies' takeover. The queens' oh, takeover. Ready. I can't wait. Okay. Cool. So I would love to be a part of it. <laughs> thank you. Thank cool, you. Cool, cool. All right, y'all. We're going to go to a commercial break. Make sure y'all call us up. 404-436-1277. Thanks for tuning in. Radio on FBI. Fire. We celebrating our six year anniversary. Mm-hmm. And it's a buy one, get one free advertising sale. So for a limited time, when you purchase your sixty dollar package, you get another one absolutely free. So check yeah. that out on radiofire.com. Yeah, yeah. Ready.